So tell me a little bit about this book that you have written um, about um, Hattie McDaniel, which just an incredible um, person of her time to be able to accomplish some of the things that she did. What inspired you to write the book about her? So it's actually my grandmother in Smackover. Um, she was watching, she loved Gone with the Wind and we were watching it. And I, I just remember I was like 11 or 12 years old and I didn't like it. And she said, well, why don't you like it? I said, I don't like Hattie McDaniel's character. I think she's a you know demeaning stereotype and she's over the top. And my grandmother said, you're mad because she's playing a maid, but I am a maid. So why are you looking at her with disdain? I would love to play a maid instead of be a maid. And then she said, besides, it's 1939. What did you expect her to play, Scarlett O'Hara? And it was then that I started looking at her in a different light. And I really did. I took off my 21st century lens and over the years just got a whole new appreciation for Hattie McDaniel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so is that, is that what kind of sparked your inspiration to write this book about her? It is. She, so she's always been in the in the back of my mind. I wrote a contemporary fiction for years. I have 53 of those books and I wanted to do something different. I'm a journalist by trade. And so I decided to take that side of me that knows how to research and, and dig up the facts and combine it with the novelist side of me and merge the two worlds to do historical fiction. And I was thinking, well, who is a good character that a lot of people don't know about? And I thought about Hattie. So that's why I decided to tell her story. Oh, that is incredible. Yeah, you do have a, a news background, really, before you tra <laughs> tell me about that transition. How did you go from, you know, working in news to transitioning to be a full time writer? So I've always loved both. I've loved making up stories. My mother called it lying. Uh, but for me, it was just this active imagination. But because, you know, my parents didn't know anybody that had a career as a writer, they would always say, go do something that you can have a real job with. And even though they didn't think TV news was a, good, a real job, that's what I wanted to do. So I had a career in it, but that l love of writing uh, stayed with me. So I wrote my first book while I was weekend anchor in Oklahoma City and just published it. So I was balancing the two for years until the literary career just really took off. And I just I had to leave TV news. Yeah. Oh, that is incredible. You're inspiring me right now. I love that. <laughs> that is so neat. It can be done. Yes. Now tell us a little bit about what's uh, happening here in Little Rock this weekend. Yes. Yeah, so tomorrow I will be at Pyramid Books and Arts and Custom Framing for a book signing and discussion. I'm really excited about it. I'm currently on a 23 city tour. It started out as 17 cities and it keeps expanding. I'm just spreading the word, not only about the book, but just Hattie McDaniel in general and helping people take off their 21st century lenses to look at her in a new light. And I'm talking about that and Gone with the Wind and just publishing books and the whole my whole career. And growing up, I use Arkansas a lot in all of my books and, and my people in Arkansas love it. So I'll be talking about that. But it's at 2 p.m. on Saturday, March 9th at Pyramid Arts and Books. Gotcha, okay. Anything, I, I guess as a writer, what do you hope people take away from this story about Hattie? Well, one, introduce her to a whole generation of people who may not have known about her or known about her contributions, because I researched for over three years and I was stunned at all the things that I did not know. So I'm hoping to widen that um, scope of people, what they know about Hattie McDaniel. And then those that do know her because of the big cancel, gone with the wind and cancel mammy movement that we had around the Oscars time in 2020, a lot of people wrote her off. And I really am appreciating the ability to open eyes and have people look at her for the legend that she is. Yeah, absolutely. All right. That sounded good to me. What else would you like to add, Rashonda? I think you did perfect. <laughs> That's it. It's it's so funny because, you know, as I'm touring the country, people will always say, OK, I, I read this book and I saw you mentioned Smack Over Arkansas and Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Are those real places? And I love being an Arkansas native and showing the world all the wonderful things our state has to offer. Yeah. And you're definitely doing a great job of it. We love it. Uh, and, and where can people find your books or if they would yeah. like to order them? Yeah. So it, I'll be a pyramid. I'll leave some autograph copies there, but it's anywhere books are sold. Amazon, Barnes and Noble, wherever you buy books, you can get this book. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much, Rashonda. I appreciate you taking the time. All right. Thank you for having me. All Bye -bye. right. Take care. Bye-bye.